Meteorologist Brad Malstart here to talk about uh, a moon name that it takes me about 10 seconds to pronounce. Just rolls right <laughs> off the tongue. Uh, you've heard of supermoons, you've heard of once in a blue moon, you've heard of lunar eclipses. This is a little bit of all of those mixed into one. I'll take C, all of the yeah, above. <laughs> all of the above. And it's the first one we've seen of this uh, since, uh, oh, you were not alive the last time it happened. 150 years ago, the last time we've seen the oh, super. <laughs> Ken was uh, just moving to evenings at that time. The super blue blood moon, like I said, rolls just off the tongue. Uh, the last time we just had two blue moons alone, one calendar year, it was 1999. So it's been long enough since we've seen that. We have another one coming up in March of this year. Last time we saw a super moon, a blue moon, and a blood moon, 150 years ago. So it's been a little while. The next super blood moon, without it being a blue moon, will happen next January 21st of 2019. So here's what it is, and here is how to see it. This will be happening Wednesday. So we're hoping Wednesday morning we're seeing mostly clear skies. Of course, that'll be the easier condition to see the moon. Sun will just be rising here over the east. Off to the west, we're going to be seeing the moon set. So look off to the west northwest of town. Uh, not only will it be brighter than normal and uh, larger than normal, like a typical supermoon, but also uh, this is where things get interesting. It will be a lunar eclipse. The moon at 648 in the morning, just before it goes below the horizon, will turn this reddish color. That'll be happening uh, again right around 750. That's when it'll peak. Shortly thereafter, at 753, it's going to be going down the horizon. So you're going to have to see it. Uh, closer to about 745, 750-ish before things start to set. So again, pretty interesting. We'll keep our eyes on the skies, and hopefully we'll see mostly clear skies for Wednesday morning.